In this lesson, I'd like to look at the idea of simple or quick notifications with Inside Sage CRM. Here you can see that I'm just about to log on as a user called Graham Rogers. As Graham Rogers logs on, he's notified of existing high priority cases uh, that have been assigned to him. These notifications allow him to move very quickly to look at the individual cases that need his attention. This type of alert is very easy for a system administrator to set up. We can see that if we navigate into another tab where I've logged on as a system administrator, I've come down into the administration customization area. Now the information that we were looking at for the user Graham Rogers were all associated with the cases entity and we can see that underneath the cases entity there's a tab for notifications and each of the primary entities within Sage CRM have the ability to have these quick notifications associated with them and you can see here that the rules can be established as either an on-screen notification or indeed as an email notification. The structure of this particular rule that provides a notification of the high priority cases uses the idea of a check on the value of two fields. You can see that you can set up to five different conditions, each going to be either logically and linked or logically or linked to allow us to determine whether or not a notification should be issued. And you'll also see that the notification message can include HTML and we can build up reference to the data that is included within the notification message by selecting information from the list of associated fields from the underlying view. The notification needs to be issued to a user and we can see here that in our case the special uh, value of the case assigned user has been used. We can actually choose from either hard coding the values or choosing any of these different items which allow us to link the case to or link the notification to any user that we need to. We're going to create now a notification that will show us the inf will show a user when new opportunities have been entered into the system. To do that, I need to leave the customization of cases and come to the customization of opportunities. We can see that we are now looking at the administration, customization, and opportunity screen, and I'm going to select the notifications tab, which allow me to create a new notification. You can see that already a notification has been set up that's of type email. In this case an email is sent out to a user to notify them that a new case or a new opportunity has reached a particular point within the workflow cycle. And you can see here that uh, the email that is being sent out would also include each of the information about the opportunity plus any attachment that we need to make. I'm going to create a new on-screen notification. Or I'm going to call this new opportunity and I want to look at when this fires and I'm going to use the conditions that when the opportunity stage is equal to lead and when the opportunity status is in progress. Once those have been selected I can then decide who I'm going to notify and in this case, in my example, I will notify who the account has been assigned to but we can see that we can either hard code the value or we can select uh, any of the other special types including uh, the idea of the uh, user's reports to option so we can pass this up to a line manager as well. But I'm selecting the opportunity assigned to field here and I'm then going to build my message using a combination of HTML and information coming from uh, the from the underlying view associated with this screen. 
we can save this and this will have an immediate effect because the in my particular system the notifications have been set to be uh, immediate and as we as a system administrator look we can see that a notification has been issued because in the default system the system administrator has indeed been assigned an example opportunity.